This is Enrique from the Tennis Center. Uh, me and the staff have come up with a couple of ideas that you guys can do at home. Workout drills, adults, kids, everybody can do it. Uh, we're probably going to be using stuff that you have at home, maybe tables, uh, I don't know, benches, uh, ropes, whatever it is that you have, because uh, I know it's kind of difficult to get a court at the moment. But hopefully this helps you be and kind of stay sharp uh, so that when we reopen, we can just go back, play, have some fun. Uh, and remember, everybody just stay safe. I hope everybody's doing fine and during these times and uh, hope to see you all there soon. Hey everybody, Paul here. So the first exercise that we have for you is gonna be a forward exercise. You can use anything in your house that kind of creates like an obstacle that you have to move your feet around. We're trying to get creative, um, you know, because I know we all don't have cones, dots, and ladders. So um, here's a demonstration. Hey guys, this is the first uh, footwork we're gonna do. We call this a figure eight drill. Uh, we're gonna do three sets of 30 second intervals each. And here's an example of how it looks. Try to keep your toes, try to keep running on your toes. Don't try to put your heel down. That way you keep your momentum going and you can keep the intensity going. Pace yourself if you're doing the full 30 seconds because you might actually burn out if you go too fast in the beginning. Okay? If you want to go with full intensity and you can take it, then obviously then it's going to be a little more effective and you're going to do a little more work out there. Hey guys, so progression number two, we're going to add hand-eye coordination and footwork. Obviously, you might need a partner, family member, somebody to help you with this one. Because as you see, we're adding in tossing as we're doing the footwork. So it's going to add in that hand-eye coordination and a little exercise if you're doing it. So really good for kids to work on their motor skills. Okay, footwork drill number two. We have a simple zigzag. So what we want is we want small steps, zigzagging in between the cones. And we want to see if we can complete a total of five sets, trying to keep the intensity high. Okay, progression number two, we have a lateral zigzag. So, moving sideways, doubles, and small steps, in and out of the cones. If you want to make it a little bit easier on the recovery, you can just shuffle. Take a little break, and then go again. Okay guys, we're going to be entering into our racket drills now. Our first one's going to be, it's going to be the auto rally. We use it a lot with our kids. So, here's how it looks like. You're going to have, you're going to be wanting wanted to do a forehand and a backhand outer rally. Notice that the way, the reason we call it the outer rally is because you're basically doing the rally with yourself. You're letting it bounce and then you're engaging into your forehand and your backhand. Keep the intensity up, keep your footwork going on your toes and your goal is going to be to do at least 20 forehands, 20 backhands. Okay, progression number two, you're going to need a bench, a chair, any sort of obstacle, a little bit of space and a partner. Okay guys, so progression number three, we're gonna transition into a full mini tennis rally. So we wanna stay consistent throughout the whole mini tennis. Don't try to go bananas in the beginning, go slow. Make sure you help your partner out so you can get into that nice rally. However, if you really wanna make this interesting and make it a little more challenging, you can come into the net. 